Hi everyone, I'm Michael. And I'm Patrick, and you're watching another episode of Star Wars News and Views. Today we'll be discussing the first known Easter egg, I guess, at this point, for uh, The Force Awakens. Um, this has to do with the origin of Poe Dameron's name, and uh, we're just trying to speculate on, on where these names came from. The first person that I think the name Dameron came from is Morgan Dameron, who was J.J. Abrams' personal assistant on Star Trek Into Darkness, which... I, they probably worked pretty closely, so he was doing it for her yeah, namesake. And he, and, and he made that right before he came on to Star Wars. Yeah. So that's a pretty big coincidence. Like, I'm sure yeah. it's not a coincidence. Yeah. Plus, I like at this point, they were probably pretty close, so he was kind of doing her a favor. And it does have a Star Wars ring to it anyways. He probably was just yeah. like, maybe he just thought of all of his close friends and decided to choose one that had a really close name. Yeah. Like, uh, that's that's kind of the same way, like, on the original trilogy, George Lucas would just... He'd come up with names just based on things he saw, like Han Solo. He got the name Solo from Solo Paper Cups. Yeah. So if you ever uh, drank a coffee at Starbucks, you look down and it says Solo on the top. Yeah. That's where Han Solo comes from. That was the inspiration of, oh, that's kind of a cool name. I'll use that. <laughs> um, so, okay, so that's where Dameron comes from. So where is Poe? Uh, well, I mean, obviously this is unconfirmed, but if you look at the credits on the original 2009 Star Trek movie, the uh, digital effects supervisor is named Darren Poe. Mm -hmm. Especially being a very special effects heavy movie, I'm sure he did work pretty closely with him at some points. Yeah. So that's kind of unusual that he worked with someone named Poe and he worked with someone named Dameron. Uh, it may not. It may be that he was really close to them and wanted to sort of immortalize them, or yeah. he just kind of thought, oh, that's kind of, remember that Poe guy that did the effects? <laughs> or he just looked at the list of uh, cast Credit. and credits and he's just like, yeah, those two work together. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I don't know, what do you guys think? Do you think there's anything to that? I think especially in terms of his assistant, mm -hmm. that has to be. Yeah, that one for sure. It, it's kind of cool to see these uh, Easter eggs happen before the movie comes out as well, because usually we kind of figure out these things afterwards, or you know, someone will say something in an interview and you'll figure it out then. But to kind of have these this knowledge before the movie, it comes out is pretty exciting yeah and, and unusual mm -hmm. uh, so leave your feedback what do you guys think is this where Poe Dameron comes from um, I don't know I think no. so but we'll see so anyways thanks for watching be sure to uh, leave comments leave your feedback uh, follow us on Facebook because mm -hmm. we're on there now it's a good way for us to interact uh, directly with you in a more immediate way than YouTube allows uh, so thanks for watching and we'll see you next time